So I'm about to start the heel of my advent stocking and I thought that now might be a good time to just create a little bit of a hanger um, to add on to my stocking when I'm done. Um, I have a sample of a hanger here on a previous stocking so uh, what I've done here is just I made a bit of eye cord and I've sewn it on using the colors you can see here using the red and using the gray and so on. So I'm just going to show you how to make a little bit of eye cord and then uh, give you an example of how to sew it on. I've, I've sewn it down quite deep here to give it so that it's not pulling on the um, edge of my stocking so much. All right, let's start with how to make eye cord. So I've got some nice green yarn here which matches the top of my stocking and I'm going to begin by casting on three or four stitches onto a double pointed needle. Oops. All right. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to do three stitches um, because I want my eye cord to be really um, narrow. So I'm going to cast on three stitches. Oops. I've forgotten how to cast on now because. <laughs> All right. Let's start with a slip knot. and I'll cast on three stitches. Oh my goodness, can't believe I did that. Anyway, I've got three stitches on my double pointed needle. My yarn is here. So normally you would turn and work back the other way, but to make eye cord, you don't do that. You slide your stitches to the opposite end of the needle so that your working yarn is on the left side. Insert a second double pointed needle into that first stitch and bring that yarn around behind your work so it's going from the left over to the right. Wrap it around your hook and pull that stitch through. Give a little tug here just to tighten everything up and then knit the other two stitches in your eye cord. Okay, push those stitches again back to the uh, to the right end of your double pointed needle so that the yarn is on the left side of your stitches and knit them again. So I'm knitting one with the yarn stretched across the back. After I've done knitting that first one I give it a little tug and then knit stitches two and three. Okay and again slide them back to the right end of your double pointed needle and knit stretching the yarn across the back of your eye cord. Uh, this makes a really cool um, cord, which we call eye cord, and it's great for hanging stockings or for um, attaching mittens to each other so you can thread them through the sleeves of your parka. And you just keep going back and forth like this. It's the same kind of eye cord that you would get if you used a spool knitter or just using double pointed needles. So you'll need to go until your eye cord is, uh, well, let's say about eight inches long. Okay, so keep making your eye cord. And I'll meet you back when we're almost done. Okay, so here I've got about eight inches. Um, I could get out my tape measure, uh, but I'm not. I'm I'm basically just measuring it against my knitting needles. I have uh, six inch double pointed needles, so I'm about two inches past the end of my needle. And so I'm going to stop here. Um, I, I feel like this is probably, um, you, you stop at whatever length you feel is right for your for your cord. Um, when you get to the end then it's very simple to finish off. You're going to cut your yarn 
And then you can do one of two things. You can knit three together. So that means getting your needle under those three loops and then taking this end around and pulling that in through like that to get knit, to knit three together. But sometimes that's a little tricky to do because the yarn is thick and there is an easier way. And that's just to take out a wool needle, thread your cut end onto your wool needle, pass your stitches onto the end of the wool needle and pull your yarn through. Give it a good tug, okay? And then if the, um, so the end of my stocking, the end of my Christmas stocking, I haven't sewn up my hem yet, but you can see that the end of my Christmas stocking is green. So I could leave those tails exposed in order to sew it onto the edge of my Christmas stocking. Um, so that's probably what I'll do for this one, but um, if I wanted to hang it on the outside instead, then I would weave in the tails. And weaving in the tails is another thing that's quite easy to do. You just thread the tail onto your wool needle, stick your wool needle into the interior of your eye cord, you kind of have to wiggle it through and you might split some of the yarn as you do it. Like that means that your needle might go through um, the edge of a stitch and sort of catch as it goes along and that's okay because that helps to hold it in there. Now let me back it up. I want, I don't want it to, I don't want my needle to show as I'm sticking it through there. Just want it to pop out somewhere in there. Okay, pull your tail out through your eye cord like this. Give it a tug just to make sure it's back inside and then trim that tail off nice and close to the edge of your eye cord like that. Okay, and your tail is now disappeared inside the eye cord. I'm gonna do that over here as well. So just thread the tail. Um, find a spot to kind of, don't, don't put your needle back into the same spot that your yarn is coming out of. Stick it into a different place so that it tacks it down as you go. And just wiggle your needle through the center of your eye cord. Pop it out some distance down. And pull that tail out. Straighten everything out so it's nice and neat. Trim off your tail, and then you can sew it on. So now that the ends are not sticking out of this, if I would like to attach my stocking to the outside of my stocking, if I would like to attach my hanger to the outside of my stocking, I can. And I can even position it a little further down. So there's a number of different ways that you can attach your hanger to your stocking. Um, you could sew a button over top of here. You can do a simple whip stitch. So I'll stick my needle through here. I'll probably use a longer bit of yarn. Hang on a sec. Oh, before you put your hanger on, make sure that you're hanging it on the side of your stocking. That's where you've woven in all your tails. Every time you change color, um, you're going to have a tail that you need to sew in and that'll be at the beginning of your round. So you want to sew on your hanger at the beginning of your round because that's where you, you don't want it to be noticed. So if the hanging edge is flat, you'll, you'll only see one side or the other of it. So I center my hanger over the the beginning of the round where I have that jog and then just sew it on. So here I'm going to take my wool needle, take a bit of this green yarn and just sew it on. And because I'm using the same color here, it's not going to be noticeable. See that? 
Uh, obviously, I'm going to sew it down a lot more than I'm doing here, but for demonstration purposes, I just want to show you that um, you don't really see the sewing yarn when you do it. But you do want to sew, you, you want to sew it on fairly securely. And um, you're trying not to create too much of a pull on your stocking. So the longer your eye cord is, um, the, the more stability you'll have in here. But putting it through that double layer of uh, the hemmed one uh, from the outside is, is quite nice. Now, if you want to make it longer and you want to pull it down further and you want to kind of hide the thread that you're using here or use the same color of thread um, yarn all the way down, you can find a button with a big hole in it and you can sew the button over it and then you could have another button down here and another button down here and the button just allows you to hide your um, your attachment from for the hanger from from being visible. Uh, so if you have to use a different color for example a nice little round button right there just hides everything. Leather toggles also work quite nicely. Alright that's the hanger. Um, I-cord is just one form of hanger. Uh, you can also make plied cord. That's kind of fun too. To make plied cord, you will need to give yourself... Um, in, the, in this one, um, it's nice to have some different colors. So, get that. All right, so... <laughs> you can make, uh, alright, so you can make uh, plied cord, you can braid cord, there's uh, all kinds of things you can do. I've taken about a uh, one meter length of three colors of uh, Christmassy yarn and I'm going to ply it, I'll just trim this end off here so they're all about the same length. And I'm going to ply it. Um, plying works, sometimes it works a little bit better if you have um, like a pin or something to hold the, your yarn steady. Um, but you, you can do it, uh, you can do it just like this, loose like this. So essentially what you have to do to ply cord is you need to add twist to it. And you're going to twist your cord in one direction. So as I'm doing this, I'm twisting and I'm just moving my hand backwards so I'm adding twist to my yarn. This takes a fair bit of time but uh, that's why we're working early. Alright now I've just taken a double pointed knitting needle and I've put it into um, into this box that I'm using so that I can stabilize it. And now I'm continuing to twist the yarn. And I'm twisting both halves, both halves of the yarn in the same direction. And you need to twist until it's so tight that you can't twist it anymore. When you have it twisted really tightly, pinch it at one end. The other end is the middle of my cord. And then let the middle finger go. Keep it tightly pinched here. Ready? Okay, and it looks like a bit of a mess. 
but then just give it, oops, give it a little tug. And you have a plied cord. You can do this in one solid color or you can do it in three single colors like I did or you can you can do it any way you like. Put a knot at the end that you are pinching so that it doesn't come apart. And you can trim off that edge. And there you have another hanger. To make it look the same at both ends, I usually put another knot at this end and just cut that tip off as well so that I have a little bit of doodads at either end. There is another hanger for you.